Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning. I'm about to go to Seafo in like one hour. And yeah, I'm just about to pack right now. Um, and this time I'm gonna be going out there for a while, maybe like, probably like one week. I took about a week leave. I'm gonna just see how I pack everything. As you can see, it's very messy. Everything is just thrown, pulled out, thrown back in. So I'm just gonna see how I pack everything to prepare for being out there for about a week. But to be honest, it's not like I'm really gonna be packing like dressy clothes or anything because obviously it's like a farm so I'm just gonna be packing like comfortable clothing and loose clothing so see so yeah, let me get ready pack my clothes and shower and all those things and I'll see y'all in a bit so actually my mom was already in town with my brother she was picking up groceries and small things to take back to the compound in Sifo because in Sifo there aren't that many supermarkets unless you go to like Brikama. There are some supermarkets there, some stores. I'm not sure if supermarkets, but I do know there are stores and little places to buy um, small groceries, but it is kind of limited and doesn't really have the things that we normally like to get for groceries. And if it is there, it's a little bit more expensive than how much we would normally pay for it. So my mom just sticks with what she knows and gets groceries back in town for the most part. But when it comes to like small little things that they may need or fruits or vegetables that they're not already growing on their land, they do usually go up to the market or up to the village and buy it there. But anywho, like I said, I met up with my mom and my brother. Once we picked up all of our groceries, we headed straight for Sifo. And guys, as you can see, it just started pouring heavy rain as we were on the way. It was a little scary on some parts, I'm not gonna lie because it was pretty heavy. But it was also kind of funny because, of course, Sifo is one hour away, 45 minutes to an hour away. And some parts, some cities that we were passing through didn't have rain at all. And then some parts, it was raining super heavy. It was like every five minutes we were in and out of the rain. And I don't know why, but the driver, of course, I'm sitting right behind the driver. He didn't want to let his window up fully. I guess because he couldn't see to drive. I don't know. I don't know why he wouldn't want to let his window up. So y'all, I was getting wet half of the ride, but it's okay. I just assumed like maybe he couldn't see um, his mirror on the left to see behind him. I don't know. I don't know, but <laughs> I was getting drenched. Just the second time, like rainy season. This side, y'all do it. You can set it now. Dang. So because it's rainy season and the way some of these Gambian roads are set up, the roads are super muddy, so the driver couldn't go all the way to the gate. So he just parked somewhere as close to the gate as possible. And my dad and my brothers brought some wheelbarrows for us to carry the groceries in. And that's kind of how they've been doing it with these heavy rains during the rainy season. And as you can see, this is how it looks us walking towards the land from where the driver parked, y'all. It actually wasn't that close, but it's as close as he could get. And yeah, we all put on our own individual rain boots and just started walking, carrying all the groceries. And it's moments like these that I just be thinking in my mind, like, wow, we are really, we are really out here living like this. Like, I love it because it's like, this is reality. This is real stuff that happens and it just humbles you. <laughs> it humbles you so much. Because honestly, if you would have told me and my family like 10 years ago that we would be somewhere in Africa, toting things on our head and carrying all of our groceries and wheelbarrows through deep waters, we probably would have never believed you. And I just find that so funny. Like we went from pushing shopping carts at Walmart to pushing wheelbarrows through waters on our own personal farm in West Africa. Like, isn't that crazy? At least during it. <laughs> At least it wasn't raining. At least it wasn't raining heavy. Well, here come the rain, actually. She looked different. Hello, puppy. It's me. It's me. Ew. Oh. <laughs> this is just a muddy mess, y'all. I really thought this was honey. So cute. Oh my god, I'm messing up baby groceries. Let me get here.
a big swan or whatever kind of bird that is. So peaceful here. Like a mini waterfall. And that pretty much concludes this vlog guys after i sat on the porch with my dogs for about like 30 minutes i just went inside and relaxed and got ready for bed of course this day wasn't as eventful because the majority of the day it was just raining and everything just felt so muggy and yeah i just stayed inside for the rest of the day stay tuned for the next video guys the next video is definitely a lot more adventurous and i did a lot of things i can't say exactly because I want you guys to just stay tuned for that video. But I'll definitely be posting it shortly. So make sure your post notifications are on. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time ever watching. Definitely subscribe, like, comment, share. All of those things guys. And definitely most of all just make sure you're in tune for the next video that I'm going to post. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Until then, much love. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice, poetic justice If I told you that a flower blue, then a dark room, would you trust?